Oh, so Paul, so what do you think about Dumaguete? What a hellhole. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A hellhole? Yeah. I can't wait to get out of here. You're saying you're living in Cebu right now, right? Yeah. Just across the water. You came into, into Dumaguete to buy some stuff, right? That's right. You just said, well, you're actually trying to get a rabies shot right now, right? Yes. Because you got bit by monkeys? Yes. Damn <laughs> monkeys, man. But then you come even come to Dumaguete and it's like, man, I, I tell people all the time, it's like, you got to get out of the cities. You have to get out of the cities. Okay. I see the sign that says you are now leaving Dumaguete. Yeah. It yeah. would thrill me. So you said you, you've been living out of the United States for 45 years, right? You like Skip it. it. If you're planning on coming to Dumaguete, just wipe it off your map. So are you, are you married, sir? Yeah, yeah uh, to a Filipina? Yeah. yeah, okay. And you guys are here on a mission, right? Yes, we are. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we have Claude here. It's Claude. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the streets of Dumaguete. Just arrived here about a day ago, checking out this massive foreign expat retirement community, kind of a sleepy beach college town here in the Philippines. Uh, right next to Cebu Island. And I'm actually right here at the airport. Off and a guy, the security guy came by on a scooter, pulled up to this gate right here, and like opened it. Like a plane had just taken off. It's like, can you imagine back home this kind of security? Like it's just, that's what I love about Asia. It's like the good and the bad about it, right? Like it's just relaxed here. The guy didn't really say anything to me. He just saw me taking a video and just, Locked it back up and left on a scooter. Well, my first thoughts on this place are pretty nice. I mean, it's a beach town. As you can see, the beach is right behind and it's absolutely beautiful. You know, it's, it's interesting. I don't know what it was, why so many people started coming here. Cause I know there were some old YouTubers that I had, I guess like Ned and a couple others that I had never even heard before. And may maybe they brought a lot of attention here to Dumaguete cause there's a serious, community here and it must expat community and it, it's got to be because of all the YouTube so the real question is is this place is it worth all the hype I mean I think if you're retired definitely and I will say too there's a lot of younger guys I've seen around here so I'm here now in the this is kind of the famous boardwalk You've probably seen a lot of videos they have all the lights and all these little white things here uh, they all light up at night and yeah, I saw, I haven't really been here at night at night, but it was more of the evening. I saw a ton of younger foreigners and mo it's mostly older, I think. But it's a, it's a nice little town. I, I will say it's different, you know, having spent time in Cebu City. Cebu City is a small Manila and it's, well, it's a lot smaller than Manila, but it's still, a, it's still growing rapidly and it's still congested. A lot of traffic, obviously dirty, uh, but not as bad as Manila nearly. And definitely a little more laid back, Cebu City is. But then you come even come to Dumaguete and it's like, man, I, I tell people all the time, it's like, you gotta get out of the cities. You have to get out of the cities. It's, it's, it might be something that you think you know. And I think a lot of people, especially in America, you might think like open country roads and you're like, well, what's, that's kind of maybe your idea of getting out of the city, but you kind of kind of need to come to a small province town where there's maybe somewhere like here because I mean, really it's worth it. It's people are just even more relaxed here more laid back, you get a real sense of peace here that you don't get in some of the other cities. I mean, look at this, look at this water here. So that's my opinion on things, but let's not take my word for it. Let's go talk to some expats living here and see their opinions and kind of get a general consensus. Okay, so we have our next gentleman here. This is Paul. Hi guys. Yeah. And Paul, so you're from the US? Yeah. You're from the US? Okay, so so Paul, so what do you think about Dumaguete? What a hell hole. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A hell hole? Yeah. I can't wait to get out of here. <laughs> so how long have you been here for? Oh, it feels like seven years. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so okay, so there's a lot of attention on Dumaguete, right? Yeah. It kinda always has been. So do you think it's worth the hype? What the hype? Yeah, do you think it's worth all the attention that it gets? Attention? Why would they give this place attention? Yeah, I hear it, you. It's, it's, it's zero. It's Zippo. It's nothing. So is there anything you like Skip about it? Skip it. If you're planning on coming to Dumaguete, just wipe it off your map. Wow. Take it off your list. Really? No, there's nothing here. Okay, so... Yeah. so no there's no women. There's nothing to do. There's nothing to see. Uh -huh. There's no food. It's just it's brutal. Okay, okay. So so then, is there... Expensive? Is there anything you like about it? Uh, you have the exit sign. If I was to see the exit sign on the freeway, I would enjoy it. Okay. I see the sign that says you are now leaving Dumaguete, yeah, it yeah. would thrill me. What's the worst thing you hate about it? Probably standing in the street talking to vloggers. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Okay, alrighty. Well, you heard it from him. Alright, well, thank you. Alright, see you later. Okay, so we have the next gentleman here, and this is Barry. 
Barry. Okay. And uh, so you said you, you've been living out of the United States for 45 years, right? So what, um, you don't have to get into detail, but were you living in Asia or just, were, were you working? Is that why? I'm a contract worker. Oh, con we, we probably a Marshall Islands. Contract worker? Halfway between here and Hawaii. Oh, okay. So you were out in the small islands for years, huh? Wow. So, and then you told me that you've been in the Philippines 15 years, right? Yes. And then, so where were you in, in the beginning? Cebu. Oh, Cebu? So you were here 15 years ago in Cebu? Yes. Okay, and then what, what brought you down to Dumaguete? Cebu is too crowded. Too crowded? Yeah. Too many snatchers. Yeah, it's a lot of, there's some uh, crime there, right? So since you've been here 10 years, there's a lot more foreigners that are here, right? Yeah. Like a significant amount? I don't know. Yeah, okay. More so, than I like. More than you like? Yeah, I understand. <laughs> so do you um, do you think Dumaguete is overrated? Because there's a lot of attention here. There's a lot of people coming here, a lot of foreigners. Is it overrated to you? No, I don't think so. So is it, this is, you think there's a reason why everybody's coming here? Yeah, I don't know. Don't know why? Yeah. It's advertising, maybe. Yeah, I think a lot of it's YouTube too nowadays. You know, a lot of, a lot of free traffic is driven here. What's your favorite part about Dumaguete? What's one of your favorite things? You can walk around downtown, outside of town, anywhere you want. There's no big snatch your camera. Yeah. No pickpocket. No pick, it's safe here, right? But what's one of the things you don't like about Too many foreigners. Too many foreigners? They wow. like me. Like, yeah, yeah. So are you, are you married, sir? Yeah. Yeah, okay. to a Filipina? Okay, so was she here from Dumaguete? Did you meet her no, here? No. I met her 30, 39 years ago. Oh, 39 years ago. Wow, so you guys been together that long? Wow, nice. Do you speak any Philip any Tagalog? Yeah, okay. Alrighty, sir. What's Visaya. Visaya? Not Tagalog. Oh, you do speak it? No. Oh, okay. Alrighty. Okay, alrighty, sir. Well, thank you. Thank you. Alright. Okay, thanks. Okay, so we have Andre and Joy. Right? Okay. I'm saying you're living in Cebu right now, right? Yeah. Just across the water. You came into, into Dumaguete to buy some stuff, right? That's right. Your first time to Dumaguete? No, we, we come many times oh, many here times, when okay. we need special things. And yeah, for us, it's, it's the biggest city in the neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. So, so what do you think? Do you think, because there's a lot of attention for Dumaguete for expats, right? Especially, specifically, yeah. retirees. So do you think, it's, uh, you think it's worth all the hype and all the attention that it gets? I mean, what, what, in your opinion, what do you think? Um, yeah, I'm not really a city person, so... I know there are a lot of uh, expats and, and foreigners living here, yeah, that, that's right, but yeah, I'm not a city guy. So is it overrated to you then? Means overrated? Overrated, like it's more than people say it is? Like, it's, it's not... Oh, no, I don't know. I, when I walk here over the boulevard, it's, it's very nice. And yeah, yeah. A lot of foreigners are sitting there, uh -huh. but it's not my thing every day drinking beer. Or, yeah, yeah, no. yeah. So, what, what do you think a good city is, in your opinion, then, to, in, in the Philippines? Have you traveled much? Um, not much. I was in, uh, we were in Palawan. And that was, uh, what was the, the city there? Puerto Princesa. Puerto Princesa. Oh, Puerto Princesa, yeah. That was yeah. a nice uh, place. Cebu City is a terrible place. Yeah, Cebu City. <laughs> Why uh, terrible? I'm too busy. Uh, yeah. But you're very dirty, right? And uh, not Dumaguete is also not so clean, but not yeah. what we used to be as a foreigner. But yeah, yeah. Okay, you choose to come to the Philippines, then you must take it. Yeah, and and if there's a little bit fresher here, right? Then it then like see we see. Ah, yeah. You know, it's not it's not so bad. So alrighty. So then, what what do you think? What's uh what do you think the best thing about Dumaguete is then, in your opinion? I know you probably the shopping for you guys, for, right? For us, it's it's the shopping. We yeah. can buy here everything what we need. Yeah. And we build our house. I think most of the things came from the Magetti or not? Oh, really? Oh, so you built a house in Cebu? Uh, oh, yeah. nice. Yes. Nice. So and how, how much is the ferry? It's like, what, 200 pesos? Uh, 130 each. 130? Yeah. Oh, 130. That's, uh, That's a small. person. So when you come by motorbike, and it is 260 or 280 or something. Oh, okay. Like Alrighty. And then what? It's like a 20 minute ride, right? Uh, with Mayo chipping, 30 minutes. Oh, 30 it's minutes. Fast craft, I think 20 minutes. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. So you got a Airbnb or a bed and breakfast? And no, we have uh, rooms for rent in uh, Boonland Santander. 
Bunlan? Yeah. Okay. And Small then, place by Santander. And then how far is that from the Lillewan Lil port? Um, I think 15 minutes drive. 15? Yeah. Oh, okay. So if you go to Jumagedi, you hop over a 30 minute ferry and then a 15 minute ride up to your yeah. place. Okay. Yeah, and when, when we have guests, I can pick them up there. It's very easy. Oh, okay. So what's the name of it? Enjoy Rooms for Rent. Enjoy? Andre, Enjoy, and Joy. Oh. A N D. G O Y. Oh, okay. So Andrew enjoys rooms for rent. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty, sir. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. So believe it or not, I have our first gentleman here. We got uh, was it Elder, right? Elder Boyd. Uh, yes. Boyd. Boyd and Castillo. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And you guys are here on a mission, right? Yes, we are. So how long, how long have you been here? Been here for a year and a half. Year and a half. Yeah. So you do speak a little. You told me you speak a little Visayan and yeah. Ilong, Longan. Ilongan. Yeah. yeah. So are people shocked when you when you speak to them in that? Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you win any money over? Do you, like, how does it? How's your yeah. experience here? I, I bet you guys get invited into the house a lot, right? Yes, we do. So the do people you, here are so nice. So are you just constantly eating dinner at people's houses? <laughs> Pretty much. Is that yeah. what it's like? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So then, what, what, what's your kind of first impressions of? Because you were landed here in Dumaguete, right? What was your first thoughts on on Dumaguete? It's amazing here. Yeah. Was this your first time out of the country? It is. Yes. Okay. So, so what was what was like the initial? What was one of the first things where you're like, whoa, this is different? What was it? First, I was surprised how many people speak English. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. was expecting it to not understand anything. Okay. But people really want to help you here. Yeah. So they'll speak English to you even if they're not very good at it. Okay. So, how about you, Castillo? What was your first thing? Was it, was it the weather? The uh, actually, I didn't have any uh, adjustment because I'm from the. Oh, you're Filipino? Yeah. Oh. Filipino. I'm so sorry. Wait, are you from here? Yeah. Oh. I'm from this area, from Indonesia. Oh, okay. So, oh, so you know. I was assigned in Cebu Mission, so. Okay. Uh, there's no more adjustment uh, besides with the language because okay. I'm here uh, Iligaynon or Ilongo. I speak Ilongo. So, what city are you from? I'm from Iloilo. Oh, okay, okay. So what was your thing? What, is there a difference between Iloilo and Dumaguete or not? Um, they're like uh, pretty the same, but oh, right? um, the people there are more um, approachable than ours. Oh, than really? Yeah. Really? Is yeah. it just because it's a smaller town, you think? People are more friendly or just different culture? It is different culture. Oh, interesting. Okay. <laughs> All right, so then, uh, so then, where are you guys? Hit? So you just said, well, you're actually trying to get a rabies shot right now, right? Yes. Because you got bit by monkeys. Yes. Damn <laughs> monkeys, man. They, yeah, what happened? Were, were they trying to take your yeah. stuff, or they just attacked you? We we and visited them, so um, it's kind of our fault. <laughs> were you trying to convert them? We were actually. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. That's okay, so then, uh, all right, where are you guys headed next? Uh, we live in Chathone right now. Okay. So that's about two hours that way. Oh, really? Yeah. So you just hop on the bus and go back? Yep. Wow. Hop on the bus and go home. All right. Okay. All right, guys. Well, thanks for being on camera. Appreciate it. Yeah. Okay. All, right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we have Claude here. It's Claude. So, sir, you said you've been living here 10 years, right? Yeah. Okay. So let me first say, is it worth, is, is Dumaguete worth all the attention that it's getting? Yeah, I think because a lot of uh, foreigners live here right now. Yeah. Nice city, quiet, no crime. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's very little crime here, huh? Yeah. Very little? Okay. Very rare, you want to. So in 10 years, has the city changed since you've lived here? A little bit, but not that much. I'm surprised that it's not changing. Oh, yeah? They tried, but it didn't work. Really? Like, what did they try uh, to change? Like two years ago, when the mayor wanted to have a company that was going to build big housing there. Oh. And all the people say no, no, no. Really? So they shut it up. So they were going to do like public housing? Like no, they were going to try no, to clear no, out? No, it was like a condo and things like that. Oh, because they were going to try to clear out the pier? Like yeah. the, the boardwalk area? Oh, okay, okay. Alrighty, and then so... What uh? What's your favorite part about Dumaguete? Well, me the boudoir. That's true, for sure because all the restaurants, bar. Yeah. We have very good restaurant. Uh huh. Yeah. So what's and your? We have a very nice park at the end. Oh yeah. Nice, yeah. People. Yeah, definitely. So what's your favorite? What's your favorite part about living in Dumaguete? Me, I live. Uh, or what's your favorite part about living here? Yeah. My favorite part. Yeah, like what do you like most? Well, because the life. The life, yeah. the quiet life. You have a lot of store. You need a cons 
agricultural material, we need uh, food, we need uh, uh, shirts. Shirts, or yeah. We have everything. You got everything, yeah, nice. Okay, alrighty, sir, well, thank you. That's it, yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, having had been in Dumaguete for a couple weeks now, I would say overall this is a great little town. It's, I understand the appeal now. It's about 200,000 people on Google. There's about four to six major universities here, so there's an interesting mix as far as kind of the younger crowd and the retired expats. Um, it has, it seems to have everything you need. Like the last gentleman was saying, they came from Cebu, Liluan here because they needed, they need basically they needed like building stuff. They've got all their building stuff here. Any kind of shopping things they need, they get from here. So I'll definitely say that uh, Dumaguete is definitely not not overrated. And I understand now, especially with Valencia, which is that mountain just a few miles north, it's really lovely out there, especially as well. And I understand what all the appeal is about. So if you're thinking about coming to, to Dumaguete, I do recommend it. Um, I don't think you'll be disappointed. I think it has a nice mix where it's just big enough. It's just big enough to where it doesn't feel like it's a small town, but it has all that small town charm, less traffic, less pollution, and, and, uh, and kind of that overall relaxation. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.